Aspirants preparing for TS post graduation law common entrance test, which is also called as TSPG LSET, have to know about the examination pattern and syllabus that you are considering for your preparation. Unless and until you cannot make a productive preparation out of it. So, watch this video till the end. Do not skip any of the sections because we are going to cover the examination pattern as well as the syllabus. So, if you want to access all of this information in one space, head over to exams.freshestown.com. All you have to do is head over to Google and search for TS. PGL set syllabus freshest now. So once if you search, you can see the first link is going to be landing up for you. Click on it and you will be directly coming here. Starting with the basic introduction of the exam, you would be heading over to the briefs. As we know, the examination is going to be under two parts. So these two parts, part 1 and part 2, is consisting a total of 120 marks. The subjects are many, so there are multiple subjects given here. We are going to look into this in brief when we get into the examination details for you to get a clarity. The time allotted for this examination is 1 hour 30 minutes and this examination is conducted only in English. So. Heading over to the main details, so before I give the main examination pattern details, I would like to request you all to join our telegram channel because all the relevant details regarding the entrance exams is instantly provided in our telegram. Also click on the subscribe button below so that you would not miss any of the informative videos like this and heading over to our examination details. The briefs are the name of the organization is Telangana State Post Graduation Law Common Entrance Examination, which is also called as TSPG LSET. And the exam is organized by Usmania University, Warangal. Name of the organization, as we know, TSCHE. And here you have the access to official website also. So, official website, in case if you want to cross check the information, you can head over. So, what are the subjects in part 1? You have two subjects which is jurisprudence and uh, next you have constitutional law. You have 20 questions in each carrying 20 marks. Next you have part B. So, for part B you have uh, various other subjects which is public international law, uh, mercantile law, labor law, crimes and torts, IPR and other laws. Then in here you have 16 questions for 60 marks. Only for this particular section, you have 16 questions carrying 16 marks in each of the following subjects. So in total, concluding part 1 and part 2 or section A and section B, you have 120 questions for 120 marks. And uh, here, uh, the examinations carries out the equal weightage for both of the parts. And then the subjects, we have checked it out. Um, then you have... Uh, marking criteria which is going to be one mark for every correct answer then please make note that you are managing your time whilst preparing as well because all of this is time based and next when we head over to the syllabus we are knowing about different subjects wise topics for uh, jurisprudence you have schools of jurisprudence sources of law then you have ownerships and further processions constitutional law topics like fundamental rights directive principles state policies legislators center state relations etc part b you have public international law topics like international and municipal law subjects of international law state territories national and statelessness ext and extraditions and state jurisdiction united nations then merchantile law you have general principles the companies and further acts which are related to it labor law laws relating to trade union factories and maternity benefits and further industrial disputes crime and torts you have the penal codes and general principles with their exceptions, the liabilities and the tort defenses. Then other laws includes different acts, environmental acts, silent features of the acts, then uh, all of the rights which are related to these particular acts are under this IPR or the other laws subject. Further, if you have any questions, don't forget to place them in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Subscribe to our channel for more informative videos.